France moves forward in criminalizing gay conversion therapy. Yay! So, on October 5th, France's National Assembly voted unanimously in support of a proposed law that would ban so-called LGBT conversion therapies. The proposed rule will also punish practitioners and perpetrators with a jail sentence and a fine. The penalty for performing such practice can be up to two years in jail and fines of up to 30,000 euros with penalties increasing if the case involves a minor or any vulnerable persons in general. France's lower house voted, um, uh, sorry, France's lower house of parliament voted 115 to zero to outlaw such therapies. The law will now move, the bill will now move forward to the upper house of parliament for a debate. So it's not done yet, um, but this is a big step forward. Some have argued that the law is unlikely to lead to a drastic reduction in conversion therapies, but they welcome the judicial instruments that would better equip victims to obtain rep reparations for the harm caused to them by this pseudoscientific practice. So one thing that I was very excited by with this news and actually kind of surprised is that this is a full ban on conversion therapies. Like usually when we talk about this, maybe um, there was a state in Australia that banned it, but for minors in the US, there's been a lot of progress recently on banning conversion therapy in certain states for minors. Same thing in the UK, there's a big push right now for this to happen. But again, I think it's specific to minors, to children. This is across the board. This is for all people, this is banned. Not just children, adults as well. And I think that's a really big thing because um, this is something that affects people of all age ranges. Of course, it's particularly wrong if it's done to a child because they have less ability to um, not consent to undergoing this so-called therapy. Um, so I think this is a really, really big step forward. Oh, AGA is correcting me. She's saying no, Victoria in Australia banned conversion therapy for all people, regardless of age. Well, thank you for reminding me, AGA. I, I think I shouldn't comment. Oh, God. <laughs> should I, I know what you're I? thinking. Just get it out of your system. Okay, I'm going to say. <laughs> Why? I don't... How is this good news? How is it? I mean, it is good news, but how is it possible from for France? You know, France, the most anti-religious, laicite, secular country on the goddamn planet. N only now, only now, this is illegal. How is this still allowed? Like, how is this still? Or like, this is. We we know that this stuff is like not scientific we know that this stuff is bigoted religious nonsense how is this why would it take it take until now for this to be a, to be criminalized like why was it can somebody explain to me why was it allowed till now how is it what was the justification why wouldn't like people are being tortured for religious reasons for something that we know is completely unscientific and this was just going on like this is just going on and the French, the French above all people are were just, just allowing that. And only now they got around to saying like, oh yeah, we should ban this. Like, can somebody explain to me how something like this was not banned like ages ago? Can somebody tell me that? I don't understand. I don't understand. This is like when it comes, especially when it comes to medicine, when it comes to medicine, when it comes to med medical malpractice or things that are not, un uh, things that are not scientific and things are this heavily religious. And bigoted, like we are, we're talking about liberal countries that are like gay rights, you know, against anti-LGBT discriminations leading the way. And they're just like letting you torture gay people. And we're like, oh yeah, I guess, I guess we have to like move forward into making this illegal. Like really? Like how? Can you somebody explain to me how it's taking this long? 
And this is like, oh, the, we're all oh, oopsies. We're like, we're not the first country. We're only the second country. That means everybody else is behind on this. Well, like, other Ernest, than Australia and France, everybody else is behind on this. How is this possible? I think you take for granted how recently attitudes have changed towards the LGBT community. Like, this is still a very new thing. Like, it didn't start to become popularly supported in the United States at the level it is now until 2015 you know like you're you're taking for granted that this progress is just assumed where it's not it hasn't actually been felt and i can only really speak to what it feels like in my country until very very recently like we think oh like by the 90s or something this is just like normal no it's not like why did it take so long it probably until recently there wasn't popular support for this there probably wasn't popular support for the lgbt community in general there probably wasn't and therefore there wasn't the political will to do this kind of thing it wasn't seen as an issue it wasn't seen as something that constituents care about that would motivate lawmakers to do something to signal to their base look we, we listen to what you care you know there i don't think there was any political willpower and i think you're taking it I for granted no i'm not taking it for granted i understand that I'm just still going to be frustrated with how slow this takes, how much time it takes for this to move forward. Okay. Even if all of that, I mean, all of that is true. Okay. I'm still going to be like, how is this still happening? Okay. I'm, I'm going to feel that. And also let me just, this, this comment is so dumb. <laughs> Irina is saying, dude, I assume you never governed even a, a tiny municipality. Please stop commenting from the sidewalk. Stop what? me. <laughs> Come at me. Come at me, come at me. How are you gonna stop me? I'm gonna keep commenting on everything. Oh my God. How are you gonna, you, you, are you gonna, how, how are you gonna make me? Make me, make me, Irina, make me, try. Or just keep crying about it. I'm gonna comment on whatever I want and there's nothing you can do about it. Try. Well, try, also try this is, <laughs> it's kind of silly because it's like, what do you think we do here? <laughs> we're like, we're, this is weird. I know you're this is not new here. <laughs> we're, we're commenting on the news. That's the whole point of this channel. <laughs> also, yeah. Unless you're involved with city governments, take a seat. S sit. Take, sir, take several seats. I was saying deleted and rewarded. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, As many people oh. in the chat will find out the hard way. Um, even when you retract your comments from the live chat, we can still see it on the stream yard. It's okay. It's Wait. okay. I'm no, no Irina, it's funny because sometimes it. I see people like either there was a, a typing or grammar didn't make sense or their comment was just like ludicrous. And then people are like, I thought I deleted that one. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> After we just like railed them out. <laughs> um it's okay don't don't take it too personally by the way when they come at you hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy cali you know like me then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below because if you subscribe we will send you a free copy of our blasphemous art ebook and let me tell you it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today and we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week so make sure to subscribe link in the description below